Hello, everyone. I'm Corinne Braxton, and today is November 2nd. Let me see if I can get find myself on the computer. Things are a little wonky today on uh, Facebook, I can tell. I'm not sure it's all going to work. Um, oh, there I am. I can see myself. Um, Facebook, I can tell. I'm not just sure turn the volume. I've got to turn the volume down here. Okay, there we go. Um, Facebook seems to have changed. Hey, Linda Wilmuth, glad to see you. Thanks for joining in. Uh, when I'm setting up, all of a sudden today, all the controls were... None of the controls that I normally use are there today. Everything is different. So we'll see if this all works out. So I'm going to talk a little bit first while I have you in this camera position because I know this works. And... Um, just want to let you know, today is November 2nd, and this is the beginning of uh, a really great promotion. A new suite that's in the going to be in the in the catalog coming out in January. It's called Eden's Garden. It's just a beautiful set. Um, it includes it's going to be in the catalog. It's a garden set, and it has a stamp and a die and uh, beautiful gems, the most beautiful gems that I've ever seen. Here are a couple cards that I've made with it. We, we made this one last week. You can see the beautiful designer paper. Here's one, another one that we did. Um, I did with one of my classes. Um, you can see how pretty that is. I, I, th I know it's all backwards. It says sending hugs. Um, this one is a easy fun fold like this. Um, it's really just a beautiful set of papers. If you like flowers and gardening and just foliage, it's perfect. It has soft, succulent, and evergreen. Look at this one. uses showcases a lot of the designer papers and a matching envelope. I have really enjoyed I've had, as a demonstrator, you know, we get to preview things. So uh, we get to have things a month before other people, which is always great. Um, so anyway, I've had a whole month to play with this, and it's very fun. Today, this is open to all customers around the world. So it'll be a busy day at stamping up when people are ordering this for the first time. So it's a great set. And then we have another promotion this morning on our um, our updates. We just had a new thing. So starting Thursday, that's in two days, November 4th, we have a new promotion. It's a starter kit promotion. And... Normally, our starter kit, I, I always say it's the best deal in the catalog. It's $99, and you get $125 worth of product. Well, for the month of November, November's a short month, too. Remember, we have Thanksgiving, um, and it's just a, sh a very busy short month. We get to, we're going, the starter kit special, I don't know that Stamping Up's ever done this. You can buy the starter kit for $75, and still get $125 worth of product. So it's a terrific deal. But I'll say talk about more, more about that next week. But that is happening this week. So let's see if this is going to work today. Oh my goodness. It's a, it throws me off a little bit um, when all the little icons at the bottom are different. So we'll see. Um, let's see if we have any be, anyone watching besides Linda who's found us. Hmm, I don't know. That makes me a little nervous. Uh, I don't even know if I'm in the right group or not. I see we have got a post-it note up here. It says Kate's birthday. Well, that was our granddaughter, Kate, and she had her birthday last week. And I, I guess that note didn't remind... I We were <laughs> at her party and everything. Um, one more thing before I turn the camera down. I have made a beautiful set. I have kits. Um, I have two kits left. And it's called In Your Words. It's all sentiments. And this entire kit is $25 with the stamp. I have all these tutorials. And have it includes uh, package of embellishments. And then five cards all made into a kit. And it's a, it's a, it's a really great value. I would say it's probably a, a $40 value. But I'm selling it for $25. Um, that stamp was from Celebration when you earned 300 when you bought, purchased $300. So here are some of the cards. There, I made five cards. Here's one. Here's another. And then everything is die cut and designed with directions. Here's another. 
this one, and then this one. So that I have two sets of those left. If anyone is interested, you can email or call or text me. Hey, Melissa, good to see you too this morning. How's everything out in California? So um, anyway, let's let's see if this is going to work this morning when I flip the camera down. We are going to be using all the DSP from this BlackBerry the suite called Blackberry Beauty. And you've seen me probably use it before. I just love it. It is still on back order for one more week. So, um, but I I had some, I had some, and then I used it, then I ordered more. Uh, my back order came in, so now I have a whole pack of it that I've been using. It's so beautiful for fall. And I am sort of a sucker, I can't stop cutting leaves. I have cut so many leaves I'm out of gold. I love cutting leaves out of gold. Anyway, so let's give this a try today. Here we go. I'm going to try to flip the camera down, see what happens. Then we almost tipped over everything. Everything's a little... I can't... Here we go. Let's see. Let's... I'll put my cards here to... Focus. These are what we're going to make today. I had the other ones down, but I, for focusing purposes, and there we go. Now I can, this is a little bit, so far it's, it's working. So good. I'm going to put this over a little bit. These are the first two cards that we're making. Oh, I see it didn't, am I, it did not switch. Um, oh. Melissa, if you would like a set, would you please uh, message me after I finish with this? I can't see now. Um, it's interesting because I can't see on my, oh, oh, now it's catching. Oh, I, now I can't, you know, there's such a lag in Facebook, um, in Facebook lives. It takes, oh, maybe 15, 20 seconds before it catches up. This is what we're going to make today. Everything we're using today has this designer paper. Well, this type of designer paper and cork. And this one I cased, I copied and shared everything from a card of my own. This was a card I made maybe two years ago, which I love. I had made several of these for a swap, and I like this so much. I saved one as a, as a pattern. So I cased it from myself. I copied myself, and this is what I've made, just like that. Um, so originally, this this piece right here, this, this beautiful um, spiral, swirling thing, that is from... Um, the poppy. We have the painted poppies and the dyes are like this and that swirl is this one. It has some other really great labels too. This one. I love this. I, I love using this and you know I have to tell you one of the easy, it's not so hard to cut out either, as you might think. I used to sort of poke it with my piercer. Now I throw it down on the table and it all pops out. Everything pops out. It has to be a hard surface. This one's a little cushioned with, but I, I throw it down on the counter and all the little tiny pieces fall out. So that's what I've used. Painted poppies. Now that's in the annual catalog. And I suspect that We've had it in the catalog for two years. I suspect that next summer it will go away. But I don't. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not in charge of ordering for stamping up or deciding what stays and goes. Here's the Blackberry Beauty. It's such pretty paper, and it's going to be available soon. It's probably on one of those ships or on a truck someplace. Um, it's been back ordered, but it's been very popular. The um, Ephemera package is orderable now, so that is something that was on back order and but now is available so here we go um let's i'll show you how to make these these are pretty easy so which do you like better which do you think you like better do you like this is cinnamon cider this one is blackberry bliss i didn't use the cork on that one but i did on this one so which do you like cinnamon or blackberry now we'll get our pieces out and get ready to stamp. So I'm gonna move those aside for just a second and we'll bring in our pieces and get your cameras ready to do um, some screenshots. I've got all these pieces. Um, 
I've got a piece of cork that's three and a fourth by four and a fourth, and another piece of cork, six and three fourths by one and a half. Uh, I, I just thought this was a fun idea. I, I didn't have any idea if it was going to work or not. But, um, so, and then we have, so instead of you taking this whole piece of designer paper, three and three fourth, three and a fourth by four and a fourth, um, just, I punched a circle out of it. So, just something, just something so that you can, you can, you know, you're not wasting that middle part. You can take any punch. It can be anyone you want. But then you have a circle to use at another time. Then what I'll be doing is adding my DSP. So we have three and a fourth right there. And let me just get my adhesive, my seal. Um, we'll put that like that. I'll take that off for the moment. We don't need that anymore. Okay, let's move that aside. And um, we've got our base. My base is just a normal five and a half by eight and a half that I scored in half. That's four and a quarter. And um, then our inside is going to be three and a fourth by five. We'll slip that in there. We've got some gems, the gilded gems that we're going to be using today to decorate that. And we've got a little circle. Um, I've got some. I started punching circles and die cutting circles in white, but I, I think that the uh, vanilla is better. So here's the circle that we're going to use. And um, we are going to, so this is what we do. We're gonna, first of all, before we stamp, I think we'll just go ahead and finish putting it together since everything is working and I don't wanna take the chances of, it, of things stopping. These are the owls and you can see the gold in here. It's just beautiful. Hey, Martina, good to see you on there today. Okay, let's see what's here. We'll zoom in a little bit. There we go. So there's our, our card, basically. Now I'm going to take this band that I have, and it's, you know, this cork paper. Oh, my goodness. It is fabulous. I love it. Um, six and three-fourths by one and a half. I just guessed, you know, I, I did the same thing I did for my other card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere it right across the back like that. So I think I'll just, I'm gonna just put some adhesive right on, right down the middle. And just going to put that on like this. I first, I, I think I saw a card like this from Sandy Carlson in Minnesota about five years ago. And when it was, I don't know what paper and stamp it was, but this idea of this band that comes across like this. Now I'm going to take my um, my bone folder here. Where is it? I've got a, I've got a lot of things in here. Um, let me see what's here. Well, I've got this bone folder. I'll use that one. I've got probably ten bone folders in various places. And now this is going to go right over that like that. So let's. Um, I am going to take some of my my stamping seal plus my really strong one and I'm going to I just like to go backwards on it sort of this one sort of breaks it breaks it off when you go backwards it's a very very strong adhesive you don't want to make a mistake with it so now I'm going to put this circle on right there like that perfect perfect that will work and there we have it we have our card almost done except for the stamping so look at that isn't that that's an easy it's pretty easy. I I'm going to try this with the Eden's Garden. I think I didn't have time to do that. Um, we went out last night for dinner with for our daughter-in-law Chrissy's birthday. And um, I just never, we left early and I didn't get it done. So I, I have, but I, I love this method. Okay, so now we want to be able to put this right on top like that. And so we're going to do our stamping. We're going to do a birthday stamp. And I'm going to use my Blackberry Bliss. And my Cinnamon Cider. 
just get a little scrap out here for a second. Um, and we are going to use um, Happy Birthday. And this birthday is from... What is... Uh, no, happy birthday, this happy birthday. Oh, it's from, oh, In Your Words. Here it is. This is In Your Words, the one I just, that's the set. That's the happy birthday that I used. And um, we are also using the leaves. I'm going to stamp the leaves that are in this Forever Fern. That's a beautiful set, beautiful, distinctive leaves. And um, I like this one a lot. So... And we are using the inside. We're using a bunch of things, stamps today. This, a grandkid. Now don't be, you know, even if you don't have grandkids, you can use, I love this, so smart, so fun, so sweet and wonderful. Um, best grandkid ever. I, I stamped that on their Halloween cards. Um, here's a nice happy birthday. You are so loved to an amazing grandson. It's just a good set. It's in the annual catalog. Um, just good sentiments. So we are going to stamp we're going to stamp our um, little circle first, and we're going to stamp it in Blackberry, Blackberry Bliss right in the middle. There we go. It's nice and dark. I just re-inked my ink pads the other day, and uh, now I want to stamp. Put that. I want to put a leaf over it. I'm going to just bring in my little tiny grid paper for a minute. And um, now here's the here's the cinnamon cider. It's 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 fairly dark. I'm gonna stamp off, and now I'm gonna go over it there like that, and it has a nice look to it. We'll put it right there, and we'll do this sort of similar things on the inside. We're gonna take our inside piece, and. Um, I'm gonna do this one. So smart, so fun. I think that fits for all kinds of people. And wonderful. And then we'll do a happy birthday on the bottom. This is all from that grandkids set. Like I like that when there's a couple, there's a difference in the, uh, the colors and the fonts. I'm gonna just do a couple leaves here on the bottom like this. We just have a little spray right there, and that's our inside. And let's do our envelope while we're at it. And we'll just put a little spray of flowers. Oh, I did these in uh, Blackberry. So <laughs> that's the Blackberry spray of flowers right there. Close that up, and now we are almost Let's see what's now. We'll put our card together. Here's our inside. I'm going to stick that right there. Um, come back in here. So this is our, our piece. I'm going to put some dimensionals on that. So we'll just add a few dimensionals to that. Like that. Take your pick tool. This is such a handy tool. If you don't have one of these, that's one a good stocking stuff or something to ask for. Remember, you know, I always do um, gift certificates too. So if um, you ever need your husband or someone needs a gift certificate, whoop, it's a little bit crooked there, I think. Maybe not. Um, happy birthday. And then they open it up. And then on the inside, we're going to put this. Here's the circle. It's a pretty easy card. Very, very basic. But I love this swirl, and I bet a lot of you have that painted. Uh, painted, 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 painted poppies. Paint, painted poppies. And the die set is called um, Painted Labels. Painted Labels. They are, they're hard to remember some of these names but there is our card and here is our envelope and it just goes all the way around like that it's it seems to be fairly sturdy oh we forgot to put our gems on let's do that so we'll take our pick tool and I'm gonna put 
That one I can't get off. I'll put one up here. Maybe we'll put... Uh, Oh, my, my putty. Do you see the putty? It was off of the edge. It has to be on. So I'm going to just um, turn it now, and now more putty will come out. Sometimes it takes about 20 seconds to see how it's starting to come out now. You have to be careful you don't. Um, and now it, it works. There we go. I think I'll put it right down there. And then we'll put another one right over I like to make a triangle is what I do. That's the way I think about it, making a triangle when I add gems. So that is our card and our envelope, and we are all finished with that one. So let's set that aside, and I will bring in, let me see what's here. There's another envelope, we've got another label there. Put all these things in over here. And let's see, let's get the next kit. So this is from In Your Words, again. And I like this sentiment that says, hope your day, day is fantabulistic. And I like this one, your birthday came, your birthday went, here is the card I should have sent. I like that one too. I think, well, it's just got great sentiments anyway. this These are the cards that we're going to make. And um, so we're going to make one of these, but this gives you an idea of the two different papers. Um, you can see the, this one is, this is probably my very favorite designer paper is the one with the oak leaves. And I put the strips of or cork in between. This one I used the other designer paper. It's just all blackberry and gold. And I use a different shape, different leaves. Um, this one just is a happy birthday. So this is how we're going to make this. Um, I have to show you all the leaves that I have. I punched out a lot of leaves. I literally cannot stop. And I, I have to show you these. These leaves are from Artistically Inked in the Annual Catalog. Gorgeous. Can't... can't and then I have all kinds of oak leaves. These oak leaves, I think, are really cool. I haven't used them yet, but they are in. And then there's these leaves right here. These leaves are from, they're, they, you get five leaves. I'll show you that. It's neat. Um, time of Giving. So Time of Giving is one of my favorite sets of stamps. I never would have thought that. I never, I mean, it just didn't look like much when I first, but the dyes are really special. The leaves are so pretty. I love the sentiments, but the leaves, look at this. Yep, so you can stamp the leaves and cut them out with these three, or you can stamp the leaves and just, or not stamp them and just die cut them. And that's what I did, all of them. And then it die cuts each one separately. And then the thing I like about this is I love the snowflakes and the Halloween and the reindeer and the, this is just the coolest set. I am going to do a video with that with some vellum, uh, another vellum technique in these, um, probably when I get back from Wisconsin sometime. So I'm going to Wisconsin this week and uh, it's my mom's 95th birthday. So, um, anyway, that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Oh, here are the other leaves I want to show you, too. This one's from Black, The Beauty of Tomorrow. And these are called Beautiful Leaves. And look at this set of dies. This set has, here's one big die. And it looks like this. It's quite easy to... Look at all those leaves. You could use that as a background. I think that would be really pretty. Um, but it also has all these individual leaves too. So that's that's pretty cool, I think, for oak leaves. Okay, let's see one's here. I don't know. I just I don't know. There's something about cutting out leaves that's very addictive. I don't you, they just are so pretty. Um anyway, I'm just you probably are getting sick of me doing leaf, things with leaves, but Pretty soon we'll really get into our Christmas. Here is the project for today, then. We'll make a decision about the leaves. Oh, good morning, Cindy. Glad you could join us, too. Um, so here we get your, your phones ready to take a screenshot. We've got a five and a half by eight and a half card. 
vanilla three and three fourths on the inside. So it's just a five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then we have some pieces to go on this. We have these little strips. This is just an easy strip card. They are one inch by three and a half. And um, Cindy, I hope you're in Arizona because that's where I sent your last card. Um, I, I figured you had already left Colorado. Anyway, so let's see once. Oh, I think I am missing something here. I left it over here. Excuse me for a second. I'm going to just move aside. And I left the blackberry piece right here. I thought it was an extra, but it's not. It's nice whenever you're adding strips to add it to a another base. You could add it to the card and save, save. but it's just much easier if you you add it to this mat. And this mat is four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna just stick that right there so I don't lose it. And now we can, we can put these on. And I'm going to start, just move this right here so I don't just fall over into the ink. We'll start with the leaves and it's sort of, you know, I'm just going to bring in my silicone mat you know me, I, I cannot do much gluing without the silicone mat. Anyway, I just, and you know, if, you're, if your adhesive doesn't start, just move it on the silicone like that, and it'll just work beautifully. I'm just going to put it right to the edge, and then I'm going to put a um, on the um, cork, just butt it right up to that, like that. And then this one's gonna go next. Another way you could do this too would be to put um, Tombow glue. You could put your Tombow glue, that might even be, I think that's what I did. Maybe I did that, I'm not sure. Um, but I am going to just, I'm actually gonna put this this cork one on the side and then, because I'm, I think they maybe needed to be like seven eighths instead of one inch. Okay, and now we're gonna do the blackberry. I don't know where this is. So, put the blackberry leaves right over that. That's a little bit a good deceiving way to do that, I think. And uh, then I'm going to take my, everything is becoming sort of cattywankas here. Um, so I'm going to put this gold over this shimmer gold, and um, I like the, my way of doing it is to take scotch tape. Some people like to take glue dots, or they can you can take your fast your uh, fast fuse or your stamp and seal plus. But I I just like doing it with scotch tape, so that's what I do. Like this, put it straight on there like this. And then you can, um, now I can put it on my base. We'll bring that back in and we can either pop it up or we'll keep it flat. And then post is just, um, Postage has gone up. I, I ship a lot of things priority, and that used to be eight fifty, and now it's nine thirty, I believe. So, but anyway, it's still. I'm, st I'm happy that they're still taking our mail and delivering it. Sometimes it takes a long time, though. Um, okay, there's the basis of our card. Let's do our stamping. Um, let me see if I can find my stamps, though. I don't think I put them on the. I don't think I put them on. Here it is, right here. We'll do that. And we'll put it on. Whenever I mount my stamps, I like to use my grid paper. So I take a, a, a line. I hope your day is fantabulistic. And I just like that. And it's all set. I think we'll. So I have this. This is the punch. And then there's the circle. I think we'll. I think. This one, this one too, I, I punch these, so we'll, we can just, we can see what we like. And we'll do some blackberry. 
Isn't that a nice saying? Hope your day is fantabulistic. Give it a good, good inking. There we go. It's a little bit crooked. I think we be, I'll bring my, this one is that one. I think we'll turn this other one over. Let's see what happens when we do that. Never, I'll bring it a little closer to me. That helps me get, so I can get closer, close enough to see it. Well, it's still crooked, so I, you know, normally you bring your head right over it, and we're not going to do that. We'll just use the, the circle. And then on the inside, we're going to do, um, we'll do happy birthday, and we will Use our birthday stamp. There we go. And we're going to use that same leaf that we used before. I think I need to um, clean it so that it has, now we can do cinnamon cider. We'll do some cinnamon cider leaves on here. Again, we'll just put them like that. And there we have a pretty Pretty leaf, we'll just do a little bit on our envelope again. There, and we have a nice spray of leaves and still we have enough word space for the, uh, the address. So let's see, now, now I want you to get ready to help me. Uh, tell me what leaves you want me to use. Do you want me, to, I'm gonna bring these in. Oh, you're going to Mexico. Well, I sent your I sent you a gift to uh, Arizona, Cindy. Um, anyway, here we have a sprig of leaves and then these oak leaves. Um, so which which leaves do you want me to use today? You tell me, and I'll see if I can read some comments. Okay, we're gonna put her oops, put her inside in like that. There we go. And now we're gonna put this on. And I think we'll pop this up and I'm gonna bring in my little dish of, my little dish of cut up pieces. So here's a really big one. That one's a little bit too big, I don't think. Well, I think we'll use this one. That looks like a good size. These are just cut up from the, at stamping up, um, we have sheets. And you can just, just chop them up any size you want. And I like, they're fun to use for me anyway. They're fun to use. So there. Hope your day is fantabulistic, right? Like that. Now, now we we can put. I've got a bow. We, and I can we can use this sprig of leaves. We would, you know, use do different things with it like this, or we could use these these oak leaves like this. What do you think? What do you think about this? Which leaves should we use? So, um, let's see if there are any other, let's see what's Martina. Okay, oak goes with the paper. Okay, we'll use the oak leaves. I think you're right. Let's see what else we have here. Here's an, there are all these oak leaves right there. There's another one, some smaller ones right there. And, Aren't they pretty? They're just, they're tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay, we'll use the oak leaves. They're more in the dish too, but we don't, we don't need all of those, so. Um. Okay, here's a little strip. I was gonna put that on the bottom of my, the cork. Let's see once, I think we're going to, let's see, now we have to sort of figure out where we're gonna put these. We can put them like this, maybe. So I sort of think that's maybe what we'll do. We'll put get. I'm gonna get my glue dots out for these. It's stuck to that uh, dimensional underneath. So I'll get the glue dots out, and um, we'll just start attaching these. See, see that big one's a little bit too big. We'll keep that one toward the bottom. Just gonna use glue dots on this. You could use anything you wanted, but it's just. I think it's pretty easy to do that. So we'll just attach them like that. 
check and see if I'm still in the camera. I have to sort of stand up to see if I am. Okay, there we go. We'll just do another one right next to it like that. We'll do a third one. Okay, there we go. And now we can put um, got these little tiny ones. Are, aren't they pretty? That's a little bit too much. Let's see. Once I think, let's see how the bow looks on top of that. Could add a bow right there, maybe. Maybe do that. We don't even maybe need. Could stick some up there. I don't know. What do you think? Covers beautifully. Yep. There we go. I think that might be good. We'll use five. I think we'll do that. We'll just do it like this. And uh, we'll put two up here on the top. We have three down here, the bigger ones. And then we'll put um, two right there. But now I've got one on my nail, my fingernail. There we go. We'll just stick it like that. And, oops, it's really stuck. You know, the new glue dots have, they're like reverse. They, um, I opened up, this is, I think, still an old one, but I opened a new pack the other day, and they have, they, you have to unwind them differently, but that looks pretty good. And um, I just tear it off then, and, but I keep a, a bow, and that just helps me fold it back like that. That's almost the end of that one. And let's see, once, let's put, um, our, here's another one I have. I've got glue dots everywhere. We'll put the bow on. The bow is going to cover a little bit of the leaves, but I think it's a nice accent. And um, let's see, let's put some gold, some of our gilded gems on. Do you see how much putty has come out now from when I, I just push it down like that on the top. And I think we'll put some, a bigger one. We'll put a, <clears throat> a bigger gem. Well, we can put one right up there if we, we could. And we'll just put one right there. That will be just fine, I think. That's where it wanted to go. I was going to add them to the bottom, but we'll just leave it right there. And uh, But I wanted to put this along. We could put that right along the side to give that a little bit, has a nice... Uh, I'm going to cut it off first before I add my tom. I'm going to use my tombow on this, but this is three and three fourths by five. We'll do that. I just like this cork so much, and you you just want to use up every piece you have. Um, so I'm going to just do that. And bring in my tweezers. I like, this is my glue tweezers. I, I like to, I don't like to get my fingers messy with the Tombow. And there we go. Just like that. Um, needs a little, sn little snip right here. There we go. But I might, there, and I'm, it's still a little wet. It has a little bit of wiggle room. That's a nice thing about the Tombow. Okay, there we have it. And so we have three cut different cards. They're all made with different. These are the oak leaves. These are the one from um, Time, what's it called? Time for Giving. And this one is from the Artistic. So we have, aren't, but aren't they pretty? They just um, have a nice... Nice feel to them, I think. Hey, Kathy, good to see you today, too. Thanks for joining. But so which is your favorite of the different leaves? They're pretty much the same paper-wise and cork-wise, but isn't that, doesn't this paper just lend itself beautifully to using with cork? This rich razzleberry, it's actually one of my favorite colors, too. Um, I have several shirts in my closet that color. Um, now, I do not have many shirts in my closet. I don't have any that are this cinnamon cider. But anyway, so here we go. These are the cards we did today. The uh, birthday with the cork, with the flap. 
And that's so easy. I hope you'll try this style because I know you, many of you have that painted labels. And I bet many of you can repeat this with your cork or any designer paper that's fitting. Okay, and um, I will post pictures of those later today. So let's flip the camera. At least I see the camera icon. It is so strange. Facebook changes so often that um, things aren't always the same. And today, when I, I I I always like to do you know a few minutes early. You don't want to do it too early because then it, it kicks it off too. But uh, there were no icons at the bottom to change the camera and do things. I was like, what am I going to do? I don't know what to do. Um, I've heard of other people saying things like that too. Other demonstrators when they're trying to make something. But anyway, so don't forget. Um, if you have not ordered Eden's Garden, get that ordered. Oh my goodness, I should have brought the the gems. The gems are, oh my goodness, they are the prettiest thing I've ever seen. But I don't think I have them handy. I don't know where they are. I think they're in the other room. Anyway, uh, oh, thank you, Martina. Um, I'm glad you'll be making those. Thank you so much. Um, and don't forget, in a few days, we have that starter kit special, too. So that's that's very exciting, I think, to have. The price is always low, and now it's going to be even lower. So um, anyway, hope you all have a good day, and I will see you next week. Enjoy making some cards today if you can. All right, bye-bye.